Do you remember when you first heard about Tyler Mann? You heard of Tyler Mann? <laughs> <laughs> Careful with your answer, kid. <laughs> um, I think I first heard about Tyler Mann. I was actually going down to like a Florida uh, train, uh, just a Florida practice. Uh, for club goal ball we uh were all coming together to uh, all different parts of florida were meeting in a certain spot and tyler was kind of facilitating that so that's the first time i heard about tyler Tyler, <laughs> do you remember the first time you heard of trey uh yeah well, <laughs> i um i've known coach young for quite a while he was uh trey's um coach and and uh phys ed teacher and uh the florida school for the deaf and blind so heard his name a few times there and got to meet him going down there and uh, working with the Florida kids in um, we had a goal ball demo yeah. training weekend, right? Yeah. Remember that? And um, <laughs> had a really good time. Uh, he challenged me to a pull-up competition and uh, I kicked his butt. Him. No, he, he's not remembering this correctly. <laughs> he's, uh, but it was, it, was a really, it was a really good time. Coach Young talked him up, of course, you know. Yeah. Trey Sean, he's the, he's the next Tyler Marin. Is that fair? So I've been yeah. hearing. Yeah. Is that fair? <laughs> so yeah, he's <laughs> the next um, up and coming superstar. Did you say you found Goalball or did Goalball find you? Goalball definitely found me. Uh, I I originally didn't like it at all. I didn't. I uh, wasn't a fan. Uh, I got hit pretty hard one of my first times actually going to try out. Never wanted to do it again. Uh, didn't make the team. Uh, and then eventually, I forgot what happened, but I just something convinced me to come back to it, and and it just just clicked ever since then. So, uh, I, at first, I didn't like it, so I felt like it found me because I I didn't have any intention of coming back and playing, and here I am now. So, yeah, I, I think for me, I uh, you know I I don't know if I would say I found goalball or goalball found me, but uh, the matchup was perfect. You know, I, I came from a family of athletes and always enjoyed sports, and um, the the very first time I played. Uh, actually, one of my good friends, uh, John Kusku, was on my team. Very first time I ever stepped on the court, it was at a sports camp. And uh, we got done playing, and he's like, you ever played this game before? And I said, no, just uh, they, they just showed me how to do it today, but it's a lot of fun. And he said, well, you're really good at it, and they're probably going to want you to go to all the, you know, down to Florida for the junior nationals. And I was like, and you guys go all the way to Florida to play this game? That's crazy. <laughs> and it was – it was. Uh, um, you know, all, all history after that. This was like 80 years ago, so it's... Yeah. <laughs> 85. <laughs> now that we're less than six months out from the start of the Paris Paralympic Games, talk about the importance of training camp. I mean, it's, a, it's wildly crucial, you know, that we get on the court together, especially for um, the guys that are not here training all the time. You know, Trey and uh, a few of the other... Other guys are, are here on the court regularly, which is which is fantastic. You know, Turnstone's a, a great facility for us, and um, you know. But the more we get all of the guys together, um, just the better we're going to be. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, like Tyler said, Turnstone's been really crucial in helping us and giving us a place to come together. But uh, you know, it, for the people that aren't here, it's it's even it's even more so crucial because you know we we need the Tyler Marin to come in and come through clutch. So. It's really good to get that cohesion and uh, get them on the court with us so we can get that time together and, and mesh and fix little, you know, idiosyncrasies or, you know, things that are wrong with our defense or right with our defense, you know, so it's, it's pretty good. Uh, watching, so uh, just seeing Tyler uh, get scored on was pretty good because it never happens. So, so. <laughs> yeah, you never saw that. <laughs> That's only happened a few times. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, my, one of my favorite memories had to be... Uh, just, just seeing like the level of competition, even in uh, 2020, uh, the Paralympics then, it was just amazing seeing even people I was just starting to get to know because I was just coming into the scene uh, uh, months later. But just seeing people that I've known for a long, uh, just starting to know, like come in and after all that work and really perform on the highest stage. So that's my favorite. My favorite part is really just seeing the USA guys go in there and you know show what they've been working on for years. It's hard to pick. I've, I've got quite a few that I've done and, and uh, probably two of them that stand out, which, you know, rewinding the tapes all the way back to 2004, uh, about a year after this guy was born, um, I, was, uh, I was in Athens and we lost a bad semifinal match and um, had, a, had a pretty cool comeback victory for the bronze medal. 
um, and I scored multiple goals. I, I scored a penalty shot with 17 seconds left in the game to 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 win it, and I uh, got to carry the flag around the the stand uh, around the court. So my dad was there watching in the stadium. So it was a, it was a pretty special event for me, and um, that and uh, winning our semifinal match against Brazil in in Rio in 2016 and going on to the gold medal match was pretty special as well. So I'm pretty blessed. I, I think there have just been so many cool opportunities um, through the sport of goalball. And Tyler, what would you tell someone like Trey about how apparent it would be the first time how apparent it would be? You know, it, it seems obvious uh, that the training and the focus that is required for it elevate, right? Picks up and there's a lot. Uh, it. It's not like we don't work hard the rest of the time, but it's it's even more. Um, but the the thing that I think people don't don't realize is the 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 fanfare. You know, the circus doesn't sound like a very nice word, but it is. It's kind of a it's it's a big production, you know, and that and that picks up like crazy, and it almost feels bigger than you. You know, like we step out on this court, we throw on a blindfold, and we're just we're just buddies out here playing ball right and having a good time doing it and you you walk out into the the stadium and the with the fireworks and the in the crowds and the music and it just it feels like uh something that's just larger than life uh, so that's not my i'm hoping that trey gets to experience why should people at home tune in to watch go ball oh it's awesome dude i i never uh I, I'm a big fan of sports. I'm into football. I just recently got into football. I love basketball, but goalball is just like a different, it's like a different beast, man. Like there's contact sports and there's like, oh man, that's got to hurt sport, right? Like, like there's football, which is like a contact sport. Goalball is like, oh, that got that got to hurt, man. Like you'll see some people get hit and it's just like, man, I couldn't take that. Like I, me, I played the game for like seven years and I'll still see some people block a ball. I'm like, dude, I'm diving out of the way of that thing. I'm letting that thing go in. That was, <laughs> that looks painful. So I just think it's a spectacle. It's, it's pretty cool to watch. Certainly, don't lay claim copyright to this uh, statement, but we like to refer to it as the greatest sport you've never heard of. And you know, anytime I've brought somebody in to see it, play it, uh, referee, volunteer, whatever it is, when we get people around the sport, they get they get hooked. Um, it's it's got a rich history. It's got a lot of uh, great great talent, a lot of very high end athletes uh, uh, performing, and it's just a lot of fun. So uh, anybody who gets a chance to check it out, they're not going to regret it.